Hey everybody, Kane here and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one we have Night Fire Monster. So I've scored about 236 million or billion rather. And we're gonna talk about how you would be able to further increase it. I didn't really make a top notch uh, stuff to get this particular score. However, uh, you could look into it and potentially get higher. I personally don't really want to swap a huge amount of stuff for just one event. I usually want to do it um, a quick swap, then quick swap back, and that's it. Because it doesn't have sets, or I don't have enough sets, so I just try to do as minimal as possible. So the first things first, we're going to check the archers. I have uh, close to 180 million attack. I have 5.1 attack speed. I would kind of want to have more of it, but I still have a ton of physical damage through my covenant. So this is my covenant. These are the stats, 150% physical damage. Aside from that, uh, let's touch on from things that could potentially be important. So. I'm using the Rhino Warhammer. Um, the reason why I'm using it uh, is because the first 30 seconds in Nightfire Monster are the most important, where you do the most damage. Um, and after that 30 seconds, the boss receives a ton of resistances. So you have to have as much damage as possible to get um, a huge score in the first 30 and then it's like chum change after the 30 seconds if you manage to survive. So that is why you want it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it provides 75% attack speed for 16 seconds. God damn it, I'm already losing my voice. <clears throat> Alright, so. And the other one is I use the Shadow Leopard Armor. The thing is, uh, this says um, increases magical damage taken by enemy melee units in, in range for 24 seconds. The only other thing that you could probably get is the antelope uh, armor or antelope. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it because I think I heard like three different versions of it. Reduces resistances of melee units or physical Thing is, I don't think the overlords have those resistances in the first 30 seconds. So it's kind of hard to say whether or not this will be that useful. Uh, aside from that, this is evade chance or crit resist also doesn't really matter. So I just go with this. Perhaps this helps out. I have no idea. Pretty hard to test. So that is the build that I have. Uh, now, Reliquary, also pretty darn important. We need attack speed. Then we need attack speed for the army. Then we need attack speed again and initiative. Because again, you do the most damage in the first 30 seconds. Then you would want to get crit damage. But unfortunately, I for some reason have this on accuracy and I cannot really reset this. So I'm not going to waste Lenari for this particular event. Might as well just uh, tell you to get the crit damage uh, in question. And the last page, I have no clue uh, which damage the Sylvani archers do more, whether physical or magical. I know some people say they do more physical, some people say they do more magical. For me personally, I have no idea because it's incredibly hard to test. So I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You can go ahead and test it and see whichever works for you. Um, aside from that, um, nothing else really matters for the damage of the archers apart from the last two squares, which is just the damage increase. And then, of course, the drums, which increases their attack speed and damage them. But unfortunately, I don't have it. Aside from that, what would increase a ton of your damage is a particular dragon in terms of the supreme ability. So you would require a dragon with a supreme true shot aura. I'm not sure how is it called, but you would be able to increase your archer damage by 40%. 
and I think 20% more damage to overlord units. Now, what is an overlord unit? Because there are very few of them in the game. An overlord unit is like a boss monster in terms of events or void mirrors and stuff like that. So that true shot aura or supreme true shot aura is strictly made to be pretty darn good in events like these. So keep that in mind. If I had that, probably I would climb at the very least like 20 billion more, maybe 30. I have no clue. Aside from that, prisms are sort of important depending how or what you play. So uh, for majority of the heroes that I have on my field, I have the normal prisms because they increase attack and HP. And those heroes that I'm not using on my field in terms of the event, I swapped it all to army attack, which kind of, I suppose, performs better uh, in rather from what I have tested uh, because the archers survive more. So you're able to get a few billion more damage before they end up dying. After that, you have to have properly set up command and divine buffs. So the army would get uh, some heals. They would be able to survive and stuff like that. And I do believe that's it. I mean, you could swap out some equipment, some buffs, some bonuses, all that kind of stuff. And the only other thing I kind of forgot, I think, is I don't really have Sprig uh, level 50. I think I have uh, her 40. So my ability of the buff is uh, level 7? Question mark as well as I don't have potential, so the potential would also increase it further. So I don't have a very huge aura buffers for the archers either, which would potentially add a few billion more damage as well. But this is the formation that I currently use. You want your dragon as close to the Nightfire monster as possible, simply because the aura blast like unlocks the nightfire monster to take a ton of damage i'm not sure what is the reason for that but our blast breaks this particular uh, boss so it's kind of a must have to have our blast if you really want to do a ton of damage so we're gonna do it like this and we're gonna place this on as much archers as possible we're gonna start debuffing the boss the previous score i just did on auto now i just want to try and see what happens if i just manually cast it well already went over to 200 billion and as you can see the boss started to just wipe all of my archers on the field but since I manually casted, a ton of buffs were properly set up. And as you can see, my score went huge, huge, huge. So they were focusing the mini wolf and stuff like that. And 30 seconds passed and the boss is barely taking any damage. So you kind of want to get as much damage as you are able in the first 30 seconds as possible and as you can see 30 seconds passed i literally have nothing alive on my field um, except for a couple of heroes just because of the amount of damage i did and all of that damage boss kind of returned a few seconds after the 30. so hopefully you found it useful uh if it did do hit that subscribe button it would help me out a lot well, as if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. And in return, I would be able to help you out more individually in terms of events, PvP formations, and stuff like that. Plus, I would like to thank all of my patrons for the support. I really, really appreciate it for your subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.